using a controller with Minecraft Java Edition. Can you do it? Yes, you can. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how. Now, first things first, this is using a mod. It's unfortunate, and I wish Mojang would add this directly to the game. It makes so much sense to me, but you've got to use a mod to do it. The mod we're going to be using today is called Controllable, and you can find it as well as a lot of other information, including Forge and other downloads we're going to need for this, in the description down below. Now, I want to highlight up first the supported controllers. As you can see, PS5, PS4, Series X, that's what we're going to be using today. This is a Xbox Series X controller, Xbox One controller, Switch Pro controller, Joy-Cons, Steam Deck, and generic X input style controllers. Most controllers are supported. It's actually kind of crazy how much controller support there is. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get this downloaded. Now, when you click the link in the description, it will take you here. This is the official download page for Controllable. And on this page, what you want to do is click on the Files button here. Once you've clicked on that, you want to find the 1.19.4 version. For Forge, it's going to be the one closest to the top that we want because it's going to have the least amount of bugs. Then go ahead and click on the three dots on the right hand side and click download file. The file is then going to start downloading and after a few seconds it will be saved and you'll be good to go. Now, one thing that is worth noting, as you can see, downloads right like so, there it is. Now, one of the things that is worth noting, you may need to keep this file in the bottom left of Chrome or save it in the center of your screen on Firefox or other browsers. So if you do have to keep or save it, it's perfectly normal. Now, we are going to need Forge. Forge is the mod loader that basically allows controllable and a lot of other Minecraft mods to actually talk to and work in Minecraft. In the description down below, you'll find this in-depth guide. We've got a video here. We've also got an in-depth text tutorial, one of the more in-depth tutorials we've ever done on getting Forge here. And if you do have any issues, this is a great resource. But we're going to go over the basics in this video, so let's go ahead and click on the Download Forge button. That takes us to Forge's official download page. Now, on this page, what we want to do is go ahead and make sure that 1.19.4 is selected. It's not for us right now. So we want to go ahead and come to the left-hand sidebar and select 1.19.4 from the sidebar list here. You may have to click the plus depending. Then come under download latest once you see 1.19.4 here and click on installer. That's going to take you to add focus where stop, don't click anything on this page. Just wait about 10 seconds. Then after about 10 seconds, a skip button is going to appear in the top right. Might be a little difficult to see, but it does appear. There's a skip button in the top right. Click on that skip button and then in the bottom left, Forge will start downloading. Forge 1.19.4, there it is. It starts downloading in Chrome. You may need to keep or save it, which is 100% safe, as long as it says Forge in the title, which ours does. Now, before we move on to installing the controller mod, we're going to keep the lights on around here, and that's where our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting, comes in. Go to the first link in the description down below to break down TEDxyz slash Apex to get a Minecraft server up and running. Apex is a great way to get your server up and running with 24 hours, 7 day a week support, over 100 mod packs with one click installation, and you can even set up a Forge server over there and add your own mods if you want to, like controllable. So, if you want to start a server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and minimize our browser here, and we're going to move Controllable as well as Forge to our desktop. To do that, click the Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen or bottom of your screen on Windows 11. Type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. It's going to open up, and boom, there's Forge and Controllable. By the way, if you can't find this, go to this PC on the left-hand side, and then go to Downloads, and boom, there is your Downloads, Forge, and Controllable. Now, drag and drop these to your desktop, right like so for ease of use, and we're actually going to be starting off with Forge. Now to do that, right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That's going to open up the mod system install for Forge, except if you don't have Java here. Well, if you don't have Java, or if your icons just don't look right, they don't look like mine, well, you want to go ahead and download Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods that use Forge, Fabric, or any other Minecraft mod out there. Any Minecraft mod requires Java 17. It also is going to be required for Minecraft servers if you want to start your own. So it's kind of both ways. Now you can start your own server if you want to. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and download Java. This is an in-depth guide on how to do it. Then you may also need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files from your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. Um, but only run the jar fix after downloading Java. Getting Java is step one, then run the jar fix. But nonetheless, once you've done that, you should be able to right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. Now the mod system install for Forge is going to open, and once it's open, it's incredibly easy to install Forge. Once Forge is open, we want to go ahead and click on Install Client, right like so, and then just click OK. It's then going to install Forge for 1.19.4. Now it is worth noting that the only reason this wouldn't work is if one, 
Minecraft is open, two, the Minecraft launcher is open, or three, you've never played Minecraft 1.19.4 without any mods. I know for some people, the controllable mod is required for you to play. So just go open up Minecraft 1.19.4 without any mods, just anything, right? Just open it up vanilla. And then once it's to the main menu, close out of it. That's all you need to do, and now you'll be able to install Forge using the Mod System Installer. So there we go. Successfully installed. Go ahead and click OK, and we can delete Forge from our desktop. Now let's get the controllable mod installed. To do that, you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft Launcher here. And then in the Minecraft Launcher, what we want to do is make sure that we're playing our Forge installation. Now, you should have one by default, and really, you shouldn't need to create one. It should just work. But for whatever reason, if you don't have a Forge installation, or it's not for the right version, I'm going to show you how to create one as well. So we're going to be covering everything here. That way, no matter what, you'll be able to get Minecraft open with Forge and get controllable installed with it. Uh, the Minecraft launcher is taking a while to load. My internet's been very slow here today. So apologize for that, but we'll see you once it's open. Here we go. It is now open. As you can see, for us, Forge is automatically selected. It's 1.19.4-Forge. That is the correct version. You click play, click play again. But if you don't have Forge here, come up to the Installations tab. Then you want to make sure Modded is selected. You can see we uncheck it, Forge disappears. Click it, and there is Forge. Now, if you have Forge 1.19.4, you're good to play. But if you don't, go ahead and click New Installation. We're going to name this Control Bull, if I can spell. 1.19.4, right like so. And then we're going to go ahead and click the Version drop-down box. Now, in here, what we want to do is select Release 1.19.4-Forge. Right here it is, right up at the top. Click on that, and then you're good to go. We can now go ahead and change our resolution, right like so, 1920 by 1080. You don't have to do that. The only thing you have to do is this version drop down. Then click Create. Now let's go ahead and click Play on this controllable version that has 1.19.4-Forge under it. That's the most important part. Click Play and click Play again. Now I'm going to show you how to do this using Minecraft. But again, I know for some people this is accessibility. And accessing Minecraft and doing things inside Minecraft with the mouse can be a little more difficult than Windows itself because it's a bit more user-friendly for accessibility issues. So we're going to show you this really quick how to install this from Minecraft itself, right? By using all the buttons in Minecraft without having to go to the mods folder in a more difficult way. But then we're going to show you how to do it if you can't do this. So, nonetheless, here we are, Minecraft 1.19.4, right? This is where we want to be with Forge. From here, click on Mods, and then click on Open Mods Folder. Then all you got to do is drag and drop controllable from your desktop into your Mods Folder, right like so. Boom, it's installed. But I'm going to leave it there, and I'm going to show you another way to access this Mods Folder. Now, when we access it, Controllable will be there. That way you'll know it's the same mods folder. So close out of this. No matter what, if you installed it using the open mods folder button and stuff, we have to restart Minecraft for it to work. So let's go ahead and do that. Then let's open up the Minecraft launcher just like we had, right? We had already opened up the Minecraft launcher. And in the Minecraft launcher, we're going to access our mods folder from here, right? We're going to access it from the Minecraft launcher. So once this is open, we can do that. Now in the Minecraft launcher, we again want to go to installations at the top. And then we want to come down to our Forge installation. Hover over it and click the folder that appears. It's going to open up right like so. And then we're going to go ahead and click on mods folder here. And then you can move controllable, copy, paste, whatever works to get it into the mods folder. Now, the final way I want to show you this is by accessing this without opening up the Minecraft launcher at all. So to do that, you would go up here to the Windows icon, top left, bottom left, bottom center on Windows 11. Type in run and open up the run app. In the Run app, you want to type this, percent sign, app data, percent sign, and then click OK. It's going to open up the roaming folder here, go into .minecraft, and then go into your mods folder, and again, just move controllable in there, right like so. So there you have it. There's all the different ways that you can install the controllable mod. Now what we want to do is go ahead and launch up Minecraft with controllable, or specifically with Forge, and that is linked to controllable with the mods folder. So now we just got to wait for Minecraft to open up, and then we'll meet you to show you that this controller does in fact work in the game. I'm actually going to unplug my keyboard in order to do this because, uh, well, this is USB-C and so is the keyboard. So that's the easiest way to do it. So from the main menu, we can click on mods. That's going to control or that's going to confirm controllable is there. But if we unplug my keyboard, as I said, I was going to do, and then we go ahead and plug in the controller, it's going to pretty much right away be able to start using. As you can see, I am now moving this around. Let me move my mouse and we will go full screen in Minecraft. But you can see I'm moving around and this is using the controller here. I say we would go full screen in Minecraft. I do want to show you, I am moving around the cursor with the controller, right like so. So now we can go into single player by just clicking on it, come up here and click on this. 
and then come down here and click play selected world to launch into your world. And that's that. It is now all being played with a controller. An Xbox controller this does work with PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Series X and S, and we can move around. And it's actually really cool. In the bottom right, you can see that attack is right trigger. Moving up your inventory is left, or is Y, excuse me. And if you want to place a block, that is going to be left trigger. So if we go ahead and move this block down, we can, oh, accidentally uh, hitting B seems to delete the block instead of close the inventory, which is Y. So now we can left trigger to place that down. A is jump. You can double tap forward on the left control stick to run. And uh, I believe crouch, let's see, yes, crouch is going to be holding the right thumbstick. So yeah, it's 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 awesome. It's very similar to Bedrock Edition on Xbox, but uh, you can access other mods. You can access all sorts of stuff. It is really, really cool. And I love to see this on Minecraft Java Edition. Um, Mojang, please add it to uh, default Minecraft Vanilla. Just, just make it to where you can plug it. It just works. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. And if this video did help you out, let us know in the comments as well. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.